Taylor Holder. What's going on? We're back in Nashville. It's good to see you again. We're back, man. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm well. Thank you. I'm well. Um, talk to me a little bit about how this opportunity came about and why we're here. <laughs> well, uh, how it came about, I was, uh, I was on Broadway about three days ago at a bar and Mams calls me out of nowhere and was like, yo, how much are you weigh? And, and I was like, oh, about like 180, 185 pounds. He was like, all right, I have this guy that's 185 pounds. His opponent just backed out. Do you want to fight him? I was like, uh, when is it? He goes, next weekend. I was like, shit, um, let me get back to you real quick. My made a few phone calls. I, um, my coach was out of town. He's still out of town. He doesn't get here until the morning of the fight. Um, no one was in town, but I was like, all right, fuck it. We're going to train a couple of days this week and just get in there. So that's kind of how it all happened. The fact that you didn't immediately say, no, I can't do it. The fact that you were saying, let me make a few calls and try and make it happen. Yeah. It, that tells me that you wanted to do it. Oh, absolutely, man. I mean, as everyone knows, like we've been talking about it for a while. Like I've been wanting to get back in there. I definitely like wanted a, a more like longer, like leeway to get in so I can actually come back, have this, this is my first fight back in, you know, almost three years that I wanted more time to prepare to be at my sharpest, which this probably isn't going to be my sharpest that I've ever been, but it's still, you know, I'm excited for it. So what's happened in those three years? What have you been doing? Dude, so much, man. I, I did take a step back from, you know, I've been in and out of the gym, stuff like that, but I took a step back. We've had some great success over in the country music side of stuff. I moved to Nashville, Tennessee, just got off of a really, really big tour with my buddy Dylan Scott. i uh, been putting out a lot of awesome music, all that stuff. And uh, like I said, we've been off and on the gym, but music has definitely been the main priority for, for the last like two years. What's the priority and the focus now? Are we back onto boxing full time? We're, so, so I, I've told my team, I was like, the two things I'm prioritizing the most right now is music and fighting. That's what I really, really want to do. Um, social media stuff, you know, I, I, I conquered that. And I did it at a, at a very high level and I was, you know, I'm proud of what we did over there. I just want to step out and do something different, you know. And uh, so, yeah, definitely music and fighting this week has obviously been just straight fighting. I canceled all my sessions. I was actually supposed to be in Texas uh, with my family this weekend and all that stuff. But, uh, but yeah, now we're here now, so. Um, let's talk about that last time you were out in the ring, the, the Gibb fight. Yeah. Have you had a chance to watch it back? Have you assessed it? Have you watched it? Yeah, I, I have watched it a couple times. Um, I think the main thing there was uh, was just uh, the pressure, you know, for my first fight, being in front of that many people. Um, I think I just, like, kind of froze up in that moment. I was catching everything, and, like, um, you know, my defense was pretty solid, but I just didn't let my hands go. I wasn't too mm -hmm. super aggressive, uh, which that just comes with experience and being in there more. Um, but uh, I definitely have assessed it. I've seen like where I was definitely wrong and what I could have done better. And I think that we have like a, for the time that we got, I think we have a pretty good plan of attack for this fight, so. Do you feel like you have to make a bit of a statement after that first one didn't go your you way? You know, I, I think that, I think that like everybody is like living in the moment of like, I have to make a statement now, I have to whatever. I mean, there's always eyes on me because of everyone hyped me up to be whatever in the fighting, the influencer fighting realm and all that stuff. But. I think with me taking this fight on a five day notice, I, I don't have nothing to prove. I just want to go out there and box like I know I know how to. And just, if I see the shot, I'm gonna take it. If I don't, then I'm just gonna box and beat him up for five rounds or four rounds. Um, and yeah, I, don't, I ain't got nothing to prove this fight. This is just, this is just a, little, a little step to get to where I want to go, so. Of course. I, um, I guess this is a question you're gonna get asked a lot this week. Maybe I already have been asked a lot this week, but. Is that a fight you would entertain again, a rematch, throwing it, running it back with Gibb? With Gibb? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I have been asked that. Um, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for Gibb. We've, we've talked, we've been in contact, all that stuff. We, we support each other. I was, support, I was team Gibb for him in the awesome fight, all that stuff. Um, really like the guy, and I have so much respect, like I said. Um, but I think it would be a cool fight to run back eventually. I want to get, um, like I said, he's been, he's been under the lights. He's been doing his thing, all that stuff. He's been crushing it. I had that one fight. I haven't fought since then. Um, so I think I have... I have some like work I need to do as far as like getting uh, like underneath the pressure, figuring all that out. Um, skill wise, man, I think I think we're like right there together. I just froze up in that moment. You know what I mean? I don't. I think that it would be one hell of a fight if we all if we both go out there and you know let them go. So I would love to run it back after I get some experience. What kind of fight do you think we see this Saturday uh, with you and your opponent? Is it a let's just stand in the middle and go for it. Are you going to try and maybe showcase some ability? What, what? Yeah, dude, I mean, definitely I want to show, showcase more of my ability, more of what I can actually do in the ring. Um, taking this fight on such a last notice, um, I haven't been doing like tons of cardio, all that stuff, like leading up to it, um, you know, besides the last couple of days. So 
I got to go in there. I got to pace myself. I got to make sure, um, you know, we make it. If it does end up going all four ends, I got to make sure we make it through there. But um, definitely, yeah, standing there fighting each other. You know what I mean? I'm not going out there to just brawl. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to stick to the fundamentals. I'm going to just sit there and box like I know what to do. So. And is this fight like an introduction for yourself to the Misfits world in terms of as a fighter? So this is fight number one of however many do you, you want to be a consistent fighter obviously. yeah definitely man me and mams have been talking about it for a while we've been wanting to get me in there for a while this is definitely like my debut my introduction to misfits boxing um like i said i, I definitely wanted a um a little bit like bigger like introduction where i had where nice. i had more time yeah. to prepare and all that stuff but it definitely is like the introduction but um it's not like my stamp introduction like i think my next fight would be like the fight that i like kind of come to misfits you know what i mean without without looking past your opponent on Saturday, do you have a list of names? I mean, Gib, we've already spoken about, but do yeah. you have a list of names that have you kept internally, you've shared with mums, with your own team to say, over the next 12, 18 months, I want X, Y, and Z? I mean, I think I think everyone knows, like uh, with, with the public and the way that the internet's been over the last couple of weeks, I think I think mams and everyone knows exactly who, like I want to smack around a little bit. So it's not rocket science, you guys can figure it out. Maybe <laughs> we'll see you on Saturday night as well. One person that says he's going to be here on Saturday night is, is Bryce. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Ding, ding, you figured it out, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> didn't take me long. Yeah. Um, what's the situation there? What's that situation? Like Saturday? You, no, with you and Bryce. What is the situation? Yeah. He's just, he's a piece of shit. He is. Like we, we, he was like a brother to me for, since I was 18 years old. Um, the moment all, like all my shit like went everywhere and like people started like saying a bunch of bullshit about me. You know, that kid used to sleep on my couch. I, I helped him out so much. He just like disappeared. He walked away whenever, like I said, and online, all that stuff, man. I, everyone knows what that kid's done. I've done everyone a favor by not releasing it. You know what I mean? But it'll come out if he keeps going. So, Is it the kind of rivalry you think now that you have with him if you do meet in the ring? I'd, I'd be very surprised if he, if he agrees to fight me. He can use all that other shit as a cover up of, oh, I don't want to platform this person. I don't, I don't, I know my engagement isn't like the greatest of what it's always been. I know that my name like or like my likes and views and all that stuff aren't like what they used to be and all that stuff. My name and my face is still just as big as what it's ever been as well. And he knows that that would be the biggest fight of his career. If that was the case, if he was to take it, he just knows he would lose. Could it be? That's why that's why whenever he made that video a long time ago mm -hmm. where he was doing some interview, he was like, I'll 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 uh, I'll fight Taylor, da, 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 but whoever sells more tickets gets all the money. I'm like, I don't give a shit if you could sell more tickets to me. I know he could. Like, I don't care. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, let's do winner takes all the money. He wouldn't do that one. Could it be squashed in the ring? I don't know, man. I'm honestly, dude, I'm, I'm so, I am dimed in on my, I'm, I'm, I am dialed. I'm, I'm dialed on my fight. That's what I'm worried about right now. But one, the moment that that fight's over, I'll see him. We'll see if he's around. Let's move back then to this fight. What's the prediction for Saturday night? What what happens? What I know we spoke about the style of fight, but yeah, like I said, you know, everyone's always like, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna knock this guy out first round, second round, da 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 da. Um, I like to be realistic here. Um, I really actually don't know anything about my fighter. Don't know. Um, I, I met him. Nice guy. You see it on good terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's a nice guy. Um, whatever it is, but um, I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna stick to the fundamentals. Like I said, I'm just gonna box him. If if I find that shot, if I catch him, if whatever, then we'll go from there. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to sit there and box him. If it goes all four rounds, like I said, I'm just going to beat him up for four rounds. And uh, we're going to win. We're going to come out with a win for sure. And then the Taylor Holder era begins. Absolutely, man. We can't wait to see it. Taylor, thanks for joining us. Yes, we'll sir. Thank you. Out.